Hello everyone, welcome back to another NFL video. In this video, I'll be doing my scanning report on CJ Stroud, so let's get into it. The quarterback out of Ohio State has prototypical NFL size and arm. Now his NFL arm, um, sorry, NFL ta talent is elite. He can make cross field throws and boundary sideline throws. He has elite touch on the ball as well as his velocity. Now, contrary to a lot of things that I've seen, um, Oh, you know, scouting reports online, other people talking about Stroud. I think his deep ball accuracy is inconsistent. A lot of people have talked about his great accuracy, great touch, but I think it's his, the accuracy is not very good. Is, is his arm good? Yes, but I've seen too many examples of it being inconsistent. His decision making can be faulty at times, but his throw on the run is pretty solid. His intermediate throws are mostly good. His ball placement is what's very suspect to me. He can drop the ball in the bucket anywhere on the field, but he can also miss the throws north to south, sometimes well, mostly high. Not, not really worried about the east to west misses, but the north to south misses, running the ball high. His throw under pressure is solid, but he hasn't really shown to me that he can, like Bryce Young, take the um, hit and throw the ball um, while, while getting hit pretty hard. He does sometimes spin in the pocket and falls way behind the line, line of scrimmage, which is, you know, which could cause a dangerous throw. He can stay composed in the pocket though when he is protected, cycle through his reads. He has good he has good hip and footwork while inside the pocket. His timing is mostly good. He can utilize all three levels of the field. Um, he mostly keeps the ball safe and will throw it away if necessary. He is pretty mobile in the pocket. He does not scramble often, but he could if he needs to. So the, 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 the athleticism is not really an issue with CJ Stroud. Um, now off script, off script plays are not only a specialty, but he could make it happen if he needs to happen. But you know, I will not call him a pocket passer because um, you know, he can do it if needed. Um, and he still has good mo movement in the pocket. CJ Stroud has an NFL ready arm and he has good control of an offense. He's mobile enough for today's game, I think. I think he'll be um, selected in the top 10 and I think he has true top of the first half talent. As for the games I watched of him, well, there was a video on YouTube that's in like an hour and a half. It is every single throw and run that he attempted in the 2021 season, so I watched that video. And as well as six games from the 2022 season, ranked best to worst. Wisconsin 2022, Penn State 2022, Michigan 2022, Maryland 2022, Iowa 2022, and Notre Dame 2022. As for possible teams, I listed the Panthers, the Falcons, the Raiders, the Lions, and the Seahawks. The Panthers and, um, sorry, and the Colts. The Colts, Panthers, and Falcons, and Raiders need, need a quarterback. And they pick high enough to where I think they can take C.D. Shroud, which will be around top 10. The Lions and Seahawks, I also listed because even though they don't really need quarterback, they will be picking in the top 10. And could take a quarterback to be either behind Goff for the Lions or maybe behind Juno Smith even if they re-sign him in Seattle. So um, I think those are still well, the Lions and Seahawks are less likely than the other four, but still options to keep in mind. Of course, trade-ups can happen, but I can't really predict that right now. But Colts, Panthers, Falcons, Raiders, based on what, where they pick and based on quarterback will, will be a need for them. I I don't think those are the most for like the four most likely teams to look out for. Anyway, that was my um, CJ Stroud scouting report. Quarterback out of Ohio State, I'm Arthur, thank you for watching.